Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? How is everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing terrific. I am, I am recovering from, <laughs> I'm recovering from a mad sickness. I, I get sick once every five years, maybe. And uh, this is the year. So two weeks worth of a cold, a cough, not being able to talk, tense, no live stream last week. But uh, I think I'm good now. I think I'm better. Um, you know, we're gonna take it easy tonight. And that's why we have a special guest tonight, Mr. Mikey Daily Carey. So, why don't we bring him on? Why don't we bring him on stage? And then, uh, and then, you know, we'll shoot this shit a little bit. Yo, Mr. Mikey. What's up, dude? Let me unmute you, Rookie. My bad. There you go. Say something. What's going on, man? What's yeah. going on? Can you hear me? <laughs> nice, nice. Mic check. Everything good? Video's good? Yeah, should be. Hey, sound off in the chat if uh, you have any AV issues, and, and we'll get through it, dude. This is going to be a casual stream. I'm usually uptight. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to make sure everything is perfect, the music and stuff, but I'm barely recovering myself. So let's, let's take it easy. We'll go through a few comments in the chat, and then we'll get right into today's agenda. But first off, how you doing, Mikey? How you been? Oh, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm um, I'm blessed. Today is a, a super chill day, you okay. know. Got to hang out with the baby girl, the wifey, Aww. little boy, future little boy that's coming. And oh, uh, Congrats, I'm here man. with you, man. I'm here with you, I my know, guy. Man, yeah. I always love it when we come together, like as creators. Like I, yeah. uh, I had a call with um, Brandon and Ricky the other day, and it's just been really refreshing to kind of like put our heads together kind of thing and and just see how each other are doing because it's a lonely thing it's a lonely thing yeah man yeah it sure is it, it it seems like you know much when you have like the subscribers and the videos and the views or whatever it is but this is like our free time that we kind of get <laughs> to just yeah. make video and content for our peeps you know to yeah. watch and it's 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 really lonely at times yeah you know to your point yeah how's sure. that been going with content production and all that like do you feel like you're still making stuff you love to do do you feel like you're you're kind of being pushed and pulled one way or another like how how's the how's the captain steering the ship yeah so right now uh, i want to say content wise i'm a little backed up i mm. have i have actually in the pipeline maybe five six videos already shot Oh, I just sick. don't have it edited yet because okay. you know that's a whole that's a whole mm -hmm. nother level mm -hmm. and it's like gosh it takes so much time and I just try to sneak it in at night right when I put wife and baby to sleep and yep. it's like all right let me try to bang it out but then I find myself dozing off and it's like oh gosh I gotta <laughs> come back to it you know yeah for uh, sure but trying to just get it wherever I can uh prioritizing commitments to companies that i have partnerships with and sponsorships with mm. but for the most part um i do have a lot in the pipeline that is mm. more of just freelance and me just oh, okay. checking out cool stuff yeah um yeah man it's really what about cool, you because you you have skills in terms of like videography and photography that you can apply to a vast array of things like the biggest thing i learned doing freelance and all that stuff is that like you're not limited to like knives or edc or, or whatever you you are known for publicly because yep. you can apply that to anything you know what mm -hmm. i mean so, absolutely that's awesome man uh i'm doing yeah. well i'm doing well um you know i've the last few weeks i've been kind of a dredge because you know i've been trying to survive <laughs> but uh it's a lot of planning a lot of like writing down ideas that i want to do uh directions i want to take the channel and the videos associated with that Mm -hmm. I understand, you know, like I haven't been posting as much as I want just because of the sickness, yeah. but you know, we, we about to get back into it and I have a few shot already, you know, that's done. I just need to bang it out with the edit and then yeah. up it goes. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I feel yeah. good about putting out new videos though. And I, although I'm not, you know, the last two weeks I skipped my lives, yeah. but behind the scenes, mm -hmm. as, especially for my members, I'm releasing content to them good before i make it public you know yeah. so at least they're not missing out a whole lot yeah but they're getting at least a little bit for me yeah with little unboxing videos and other review videos i do here that's good man so, that's good that's yeah. good let's see jack jack in the chat says hi what's up jack jack he's been a mainstay here on the live stream fook doosel yeah says what's up folks what's up, what's fook? up fook uh barbarian brawny mikey in the house dude Yo. I've been, he's been trying to get on here and i've been trying to have him on here but like you and me we're close in terms of time zone but yeah. Mikey is a couple hours ahead. So it's like, by the time I go live, he's either eating dinner or getting ready for bed. And then when I go live late, he's already knocked out. And yeah. you know, it's it's hard to kind of like negotiate that with a bunch of different time zones. You know what I mean? 
I've been trying to get him on live too, man. It's just, <laughs> it's like ships passing sometimes, but yeah. you know, we still talk. Yeah. But you I'd hear love that, Mikey? Sure. You're a hot commodity. Everybody yeah, yeah. wants you on their, on their channel. <laughs> he's killing it though. He's super yeah. killing it. Love the video and content he's been banging out, man. That's awesome, dude. That's he's really cool too. I feel like when like I first started doing this thing, like um, as at least from what I've seen, there weren't too many creators out there doing what we're doing. And mm -hmm. so uh, it was extra lonely then. But if you just take today, for example, like I feel like all of y'all are like coming up and doing quality work and you're providing that unique perspective on everyday carry, gear, all that stuff. So it's really cool to see sort of yeah. more people in the ranks. How do you feel about mm -hmm. that? It's such a huge niche. You know, mm -hmm. there's 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 plenty to share, plenty to go around. Mm -hmm. um, and if this is something that you really want to do, I mean, I don't do this full time, mm -hmm. but I have fun doing it. And mm -hmm. when I do, I, I do it with purpose. <laughs> so that way I, I can just share like what's cool for me, you know, like yeah. having things and sharing that with the masses to hopefully see if something strikes uh strikes a chord with yep. others but for the most part you know i just like this stuff this is mm -hmm. a hobby that i like doing and why not create videos to uh, share that value yeah exactly like when i first started it was about like filling a hole that i didn't see mm -hmm. uh you know something that was exposed on youtube where like it wasn't uh really being fulfilled all that much and so i was like you know if i'm looking for certain videos on certain types of gear that i enjoy other people probably are too so yeah. I just figured, hey, let's just throw my hat in there and see what happens. And the first, you know, 100 videos were shit. But, you know, as you refine the sort of technique and the skills and the storytelling, it gets better. And then you sort of evolve as a gear head, a gear collector yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And you, you hit it right on the head, too, because prior to that, I was a big consumer to the edc niche mm. before it even before i even got invited to all of what it is now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the reason my main reason for creating videos is that i was trying to find the thing in the videos that i wanted for myself and i just mm. couldn't find it so i yeah. was like well let me create a video with my outlook and my perception of it yeah and see if that strikes a chord with others that are maybe looking at the same thing yeah yeah um and you know now it is what it is and people are coming at it at different like angles and it's so it's so cool you know because mm -hmm. we're now spreading that amongst others and others are creating videos and it's like oh crap i never thought that you can use this tool for that and now you're finding use for practicalities and gear that you probably had for quite some time yeah for sure for sure yeah. and like the longer you let that simmer and the longer you have your gear you start finding like different ways to use it or maybe shortcomings that you didn't notice before and you're like oh right. maybe if there was a piece of gear that i could update this with that fulfills that need then you've you know therefore upgraded your loadout and it's kind of cool to to share that journey that experience with other people absolutely absolutely yep. pocket filth in the house says yo what's up yo fans? <laughs> there you go i knew you were gonna do it so i didn't yeah. want to like throw in my feeble attempt <laughs> Got to got to rep them on the hat right here. Too, man. <laughs> there you go. This is all sure. GR right here. For yep. sure, for sure. Uh, let's see. Nameless CDC says, "Sup? What's up, Ron? Long time no see. What's up, Nameless? Good to see What's you, up, man. What's up, Nameless? Dude, hello, people showing up in the chat. Manic, what's up, fellas? Says Manic. What's up, Manic? Manic, what's going on? Uh, let's see. Well, here, let's get right into it. What is something you've been carrying that you've enjoyed lately? Like a favorite sort of thing? Could be anything. Yeah. Uh, so, um, hmm, two things. Hmm. This is a little bit of a shameless plug, but the Cruiser, Cruiser 5.0. Let's go. This is a collaboration between me and Mike Cruz. Okay, nice. But uh, this, it's different because the MCB Crow that we're using on this is a lot more lighter. Yeah, yeah. And on the back side, I have the collaboration with Everyday Adventure Co. Brandon. Oh, nice. And so this is going to be releasing separate. So these are going to be sold separate, okay. right? Because they're two different it's collaborations like that you can put yes. on the wallet. Okay. But it is this, it's specific to a Facebook drop, and that's Mike Cruz's Facebook page. So you got to okay. be a part of that page. Uh, if you don't have a link to that page or not already a part of it, mm -hmm. shoot me a DM on Instagram, and I'll make sure I send you that link and invite you, you. But we're going to do a. It, it's going to be a surprise drop. Ooh, so it's very important. Wait. Exactly. It's very important that you stay up to date with that group. Okay. And you turn your notifications on for all the alerts that happen because you don't know. You don't know if it's going to drop okay. after this stream. You don't know if it's going to drop next week. We don't know. All right. But I'll we get have on a it. very, yeah, we have a very limited supply. <laughs> and as of the last week, I've been rocking this. 
But something I've really been liking is carryalls. And let me move this over here because this is my typical setup. For sure. But this is a carryall that I actually got from a lotto um, from Pear Drop Leather. Oh, nice. And you won on yeah. that? That's dope. Yeah. So this right here is the Triari uh -huh. 2.0. Yeah. And it carries everything that I need for my everyday carry. And that's okay. a knife. That's a light. That's a pen and a pry bar. Mm -hmm. And so I got the Gondek EDC Traveler's Pry. Really love mm -hmm. this guy. And then I also have the uh, Mini Click Pen from Big Idea Design. Yep, nice. And then I have the Ace Beam Titanium oh. Light Rider RX. How is that? That looks sick. It's cool, man. I really like it. It's like very I just wish I the blue is kind of growing on me, uh. but you know I'm I'm more of like just black. All tie kind of I like guy. the black all tie kind of guy. And then knife. You got it. You got it. Of course. The Zan. The, the Zan Zanto. Zanto. The lefty the, Zanto. The lefty Zanto. You know, with the Jekyll and Hyde the little uh, backspacer cool. there. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Man. But that's that's what I've been rocking, man. That's a full loadout. Full loadout for sure. Excellent, dude. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, before we move on, man and cuz, welcome to Initiate Level. Thank you for supporting, becoming a member. Hey. Hey, yo. Throw up those emotes in the chat. Yeah. Your brand man. new shiny ron faced emotes <laughs> it's a good time man yeah but that's awesome dude um let's see for me i've yes. been i've been actually Do running share. look this guy this little guy this is the vosti like mini labrador thank you oh and okay it looks like a a full-blown draw point frame lock knife except it's itty bitty like it's oh it is small huh it's small it's like palm sized wow you know what i mean and you know i didn't think that i would resonate with this as much just because i was like oh it's a super small boy but i really yeah. enjoy smaller knives and uh -huh. this one just the flick is really fun and it drops relatively quick too pretty drop shutty but it's just the back flipper tab yeah back flipper tab. okay and then yeah that's it there's no there's no thumb stud even because i think if they added that on get a little too bulky yeah but it's been fun that's cool 14c 28 in um but uh other than that man i've been also rocking the alpaca ghostling nano this thing i featured on my mm. alpaca stream a few weeks ago and yeah. i really like it because a it's good to get something back in x pack i haven't really done x pack in a while and then on the inside it's that high vis there's a lot of pockets inside including a soft pocket for your sunglasses i really enjoy that too not a lot of slings like incorporate the soft hey let's go <laughs> this guy <laughs> that guy yeah that guy i got the i got the green axo flux but okay i don't have the orange i wish it had orange on yeah. the inside i feel like those are i mean they're contrasting colors but i feel like it would go well together too with the high vis yeah. orange in there yeah hell yeah so that and then i like that you can detach the straps too so you can yes. turn it into like a tech pouch if you so chose you know yeah absolutely yeah so that's that's cool about. man yeah i dude. love that video you put out on that too and that whole alpaca stream that you had i'm like dang i didn't even know they had some of the bags that you showed yeah i mean that's the so one that, thing about cool. alpaca they have so many types of bags and slings and soft goods that like mm -hmm. it's hard to kind of digest all that in one go one visit to the website and so yep. it's kind of up to creators like us to curate that based on our needs like you know i'm not going to be using every single alpaca gear ever because there's a hundreds of them and then right. b you know not all are as useful as they might be for our specific needs and so to be able to go through that with a fine tube comb at least for us kind of see okay the ghostling nano is pretty useful i like the tech case max as well and then some of the backpacks too yeah man i just got their uh bravo tote pack oh, and nice. uh that one's that one's pretty cool okay. i like that because it's it fits the perfect work type bag for me mm. um and it's is nice. it a it's backpack super with like a, a roll top yeah Hold okay on. Oh, he's going to go grab it. He's going to go grab it. Ian says, Mikey's starting to speak like a true CRK head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Awesome. And so this is it right here. Super minimalistic, okay, dude. Nice. And then you open it up. It has mm -hmm. a mesh lining here. Okay. Same thing. And then it, it's a tote. But at mm -hmm. the same time, on the back side, you take these out. Mm -hmm. It has straps okay. that connect to these little loops right here. For so. sure. Do you find you use one mode more than the other? I like the tote option like the better tote, than kind of throwing it, it over. Side. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if I'm carrying a little bit more stuff, um, 
like laptops, more notebooks and stuff. Okay. Then maybe I'll throw that sling over so that way I can use that as a backpack. Nice. But for the most part, I like the tote option. Mm. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh, let's see. Everyone's saying they got theirs today. Nameless said he got his yesterday, and Mikey Barbarian Brownie says he got his today. What are you, what are you referring to? Yeah, are they talking about is. the pair drop? Or are they really? talking about your My Cruise collab? Like, that didn't drop yet, right? No, no, not yet. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be some, that would be some shit. That would be so funny. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Stay tuned, and it just, like, drops you all around here. Yeah. For, that's so funny. Okay, slings. Yeah. Uh, he said slings. Oh, no. They're talking about the alpaca wins. They both won alpaca bags from me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's literally my giveaway, and I'm like, what yeah. did you guys win? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. See? Proof that I'm still sort of out of it, okay? Y'all think I've been ghosting y'all, lying about being sick. I'm. It's real. I'm still huffing yeah. and puffing over here, still not even thinking right. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, you got right. that gnarly cough still. <laughs> yeah, you know. it's tough, dude. But, uh, you know, we're here. We're here for you guys. We're here for the community. Yes, and sir. Uh, we're here for the unboxings. You got some packages to open today? I do. I do. Okay, okay I let's do pick one, and then okay. we'll go through it. All right, cool. All right. Sounds good. I got this one right here. I'm going to crack it open with a mini Labrador. Ian said he was going to pick up the mini Labrador until I made it look as big as that micro elementum. It's bigger than that. I think the micro <laughs> elementum is a little smaller. It's a little smaller. Yeah. That thing is like a finger long. Have you seen so, that? the micro? The micro no, I mean, so the... No, I have seen it at mm. uh, SHOT Show, but not at SHOT Show. Uh Oh yeah, yeah, it was at Shot Show, mm. but the last elementum that I got was the Lexan handles one. And oh, that's right, the clear one. The yeah. Clear oh, one. dude, I love that wallet, man. Dude, I love that wallet. Michael sent me one too. Um, I don't know where it is, but he it's did okay. send it to me. I got me. it here. Thanks, Michael, <laughs> for sending this out. I had no idea he was doing it. I just got a. Uh, mystery package from him one day. This is yeah. an open sea leather wallet. Do you know the name of this one? MK1. MK1. Okay. I think yeah. it's probably here on the. Uh... So, one of the videos I'm curating right now has that featured in it. Yeah. That's just why I know so much about it right now. Okay. But super cool oh, wallet. Nice. I used it for about a week. Okay. And it's nice, dude. That that There's rivet right tab? there is a pull tab. Yeah. For okay. four cards in the okay. intersection. Nice. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Sounds good. I'm going to definitely have to throw this in the rotation and uh, check it out. But I like the two-tone. And I'm always a fan of, like, wallets that do more than just hold your cards. You know what I mean? Like, whoa! <laughs> Extra zoom. Bad. Extra bad, zoom. Bad. <laughs> Dude, you just, like, I just saw, like, all your pores right now. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> Chill! Yeah. But this one is a, a quick pull tab. So the idea is you put your cards in, you pull this thing, and then your cards kind of, like, eject halfway. So you can easily choose yeah. which cards you like. Um, other wallets have buttons you press and it cascades your cards up like extra secret ID mm -hmm. and then, and um, yeah. And then, uh, reform carry has magnetic closures. So I really enjoy like wallets that go a little more with like the, the user interface of it. Yeah. 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 I mean like the cruiser by far, you know, I'm, I'm biased to this, but mm. by far my favorite wallet. But mm -hmm. when I want to go minimalistic and leather, mm -hmm. open sea leather is a way to go for, for me. sure. For sure, for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like play the devil's advocate here, and I'm not really like I tried the cruise wallet, and it's not for me. Like, yeah, just the size of it, I guess. You said like, that. I'm trying yeah. to go as close to the the card size as possible. So something like this is really right up my alley. But yeah. anything larger, and I get why it's larger. You know, it's hefty. Yeah. The stitches are solid, and there's extra mm -hmm. utility there with the loop. And then, you know, the modularity of it all, which all makes sense. But I think for me, like, I'm over here wearing skinny jeans and, and slim stuff. So to put that in my, my pocket is like a... <laughs> yeah. So there's an 8.0 that's out. An 8? And an 8.0. And it's pretty much like this wallet. Uh -huh. So it, it's it's thinner than this. Okay. And on one side, it has the Velcro. And mm -hmm. on the other side, it just has card holders. Oh, okay. So you still have your real estate. Yeah. And then you have your cards on the back. Oh, and it doesn't, sure. I don't think it opens up no central either. Pocket. So it's just super slim and minimal. So it's like a card slip. Like Pretty something much. just, yeah, yeah. But is it the same dimension? The same sort of like uh I, I think factor? so. Okay. I think so. And it has that large crow on the back. So yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. What do I got? I got a knife. Okay. Let's CR see. CRKT. I got one hey, which one? And they sent me the the APC always pocket carry. Okay. Nice. So this is a slip joint. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. This is probably my third slip joint ever in my collection. Third slip joint ever. Yeah. Damn. The first one. Well, the first one's uh Victorinox. Okay. The Huntsman. Okay. I, I. That's a slip joint, right? Okay. And then the Kingpin. Yeah. And now I got the APC. So nice. This is it right here. Oh. Yeah. M three ninety. Carbon. Marbled carbon fiber. Mm. I think they call it. Uh, let's see. It's dark matter. Dark matter. Fat carbon. Ooh, dark yeah, matter. M three ninety. It's limited to five hundred. Okay. And so you got your half stop, mm. and then boom. So that walk and talk is nice. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then I think what they did was see how it's opened up right here on the back. Mm. So traditional, some traditional slip joints just have that back spacer all filled in. Yeah. But when you do that, you have like that little ledge right here on the top of the knife that mm. kind of pops out. Mm. So I guess their purpose of it is to have more of the blade go into the housing. Oh, so it's a little and, more neat, a little more sort of like smaller form factor when closed. Right. So you don't, and I know a lot of people don't really like the nail nick sometimes, but uh. you can just pinch grip it and mm. then open it up so. so it still gives you enough bite for you to pull it out and not use not have to rely solely on the nail nick yep, yep. okay nice yeah you'll have to report so. back on on uh, how you feel about that after a few weeks yeah let's see oh uh oh uh oh, oh. Okay. oh there it okay. is okay maybe it was just my angle user yep. error. yeah Save use your error for sure <laughs> we got that right there yeah yeah earl in the house says yo what's up earl Earl! Good to see What's you, my man. On, man. He says Always Hot Ones Part 2? Earl, man. No. <laughs> we should, though. We should, though. Yeah. Well, you eat anything well, spicy well, lately? <laughs> nothing lately. Nothing no? lately. Nothing Nothing out of the norm, you know? Mm, for sure. Well, you, you texted me a picture uh, of, well, it was like a sauce or something like that, and you're like, oh, it bangs pretty hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I Did I try it? Uh, yes, but... <laughs> Okay. You know, I'm not playing with it much. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll have to do a hot ones part two at some point For when sure. you've built up the, the tolerance a little bit. I got yeah. a box here from Vosti. Coincidentally, Ooh. I didn't know that was from Vosti. But this one is interesting because it's a tin. It's like okay. an actual tin that it comes out of. Open it here. I hope I got the right side. Okay. So the tin opens to a knife pouch. Every is that the Ankilo or Ankylo? I think so. Ankylo. Dude, that, that knife is, is kind of sick. And the pivot locks for me, it's been hitting home, cool, man. Like right? I, I like it. I like it. Oh, see, yeah, you man. Yes. You knew, bro. Yeah, I think I was. I think Lefty EDC or Kevin from Lefty has the same one. Yeah. That's why I, the packaging looked familiar. I was like, oh, oh. that's actually really cool. Dang! Look at you with the spidey place. Man. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it's like, okay. Hey, I've been working on it. Okay, yeah, I'm that, trying that, to not that you know thumb muscle, bro. You know, Hell I started yeah. with the spider co pair of three, so I'm not over here trying to like, yeah. Uh, you know, I gotta at least show out and be like, okay, I'm yeah. learning something on my knife journey. Mm -hmm. But this is the Ankilo from Vossi. So its main thing is the pivot lock, right? And it, yeah. it makes sense, right? Because, like, that's the pivot. That's where it goes on. Why not mm -hmm. combine it so that the lock is also there and it's not another button or it's not another, you know, hinge or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. That, how do you feel about the pivot button, though? Does it feel a little sticky? It is a little bit. And I'm okay. wondering if it's, like, if I have to just get used to it or yeah. maybe it needs to be a little more pronounced because I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty flush. Like the okay. washer comes up a little bit, but the button is nested inside that raised washer. So yes. for me to push it, I have to like push it pretty far in in order for okay. it to release. So that's either that's either me or it could be raised a little more to make it easier to activate. Yeah, a lot of people f feel you know different about the pivot locks just mm -hmm. because of how uh, sticky it kind of feels mm. uh, when you use it, but. Um, is it across one... all pivot locks? No, because some feel good. Like the okay. Riot PLXT that I have, uh -huh. that you can feel really well. Like once you hit your oh. thumb on it, you know that it's 
it's ready to go. Okay. But I have another one from DEF CON, uh -huh. and that one you need to just press a little bit harder, mm. you know? And then you ever, you remember those cell phones back in the day that have the hard buttons on it? Oh, yeah. But, but then like there's ones that click and there's ones that are like the Nokia's where you uh -huh. press in. It's like, am I still pressing the yeah. number? Yeah. That's okay. how I feel about the DEF CON one. Okay. That makes sense. Here, look, I'm going to press it and then you can see it move a tiny bit and it stops there. Uh, and then okay. I got to press it in further. So there's like mm. a, yeah. So like I, a safety that, lock. Yeah. I don't know if it's intentional though. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I could press it all the way in and it'll come down. And there you go. Yeah. But I have to like hammer on it. Where if I were to yeah. just press like what I would consider a typical amount, it would just drop uh -huh. to there. So I don't know. Verdict's out. I got to, I got to put it in the pockets a little bit and see how I feel. But the finish is nice. It's a okay. sort of matte DLC or anno tie. And then yeah. the gold accents. Pretty good. Nice. Okay. Ian says Ron has to push it. Push it real good. <laughs> Come Damn on, Ian. Ian. Thank you for Damn, that. Ian. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right. My turn? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I got another package here, and uh, this is a, a trade that I did with Chris. Oh. House of Blades. Okay. What's up? Chris Valdez right in the house. I think he's here. I think he's Sponsors perfect. of our channels. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Chris is our is our pimp. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Yes, he sent me this. this is a pair drop yeah. beer bomb sleeve. Oh, sick! Yeah, so let me see. It's my first time putting it in there. Oh shoot! Like a glyph. Ooh! Look at that. That's not so, a. Uh, that's not. That's not high tide, is it? No, okay. high tide is the one I just showed. It's a. Uh, this right so here. So you've had that longer. Okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I know this high tide actually... for sure makes custom slips for the beer bombs. Yeah, this is newer for me, and this is the one that has the Velcro backing, so you can put it on your pouches mm -hmm. or or the cruiser. Yeah. But this is um, from Pear Drop. Okay. And so, yeah, he traded me that Ooh, and Pear Drop's this. Good. I've only ever seen the true. Ooh, hey, talking about slip joints. This is my first fourth slip joint. Your first. My, <laughs> my first. My fourth slip joint. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Bam. And this Ooh. is the sharpshooter. Okay. Nice. Okay. See and let's see this is my first jack wolf <laughs> <clears throat> you got a bunch i know you do yeah man yeah i've been i've been playing around with a lot of slip joints i've been able to get like different perspectives on on like different brands and how they interpret sort of that traditional form factor and uh -huh. it's cool to see oh yeah so he this is the one that he got here mm, there you yeah go. that blue and really I, pops that blue does <clears throat> oh man i think it's is that fat car so that, it is right yeah mm. s90v mm. dang okay i get it i get it guys i get the hype behind yep. the jack wolves mm -hmm. i really do that the blade is really sick. cool it's hollow ground yeah and that little clip point right there mm -hmm. dang okay oh okay. chris mikey daily carry be carrying slip joints from here on out <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Here goes another freaking rabbit hole. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. And then you got the slip right there yep. as well. So. Comes with a microfiber too, right? Um, Chris, where's it at, dude? No, I was kidding. <laughs> uh oh, did I just no, out, Chris? No, uh -oh. you got it right there. So. <laughs> nice. That's what I like about the Jack Wolf knife packaging. Like, yeah. they, he gives you everything you need to succeed with that knife. Like, you've got the knife, you got the slip, you got a pog. Pogs are coming back. Maybe? Yeah, the pog the pog was in it, and mm -hmm. then it comes in this cool tin. Yeah, with the some artwork slaps. is sick. He commissions, yeah. I think, different artists, various artists, to kind of carry out the Jack Wolf vision, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, I need like left-handed JWKs. You know, you know Ben's left-handed. Oh, really? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either until Kev said something about it. Lefty EDC. He was like, ah, yeah, he's actually sure. left-handed. There you go. I was like, what? Is this up, man? Do you need it to slip joints? Don't really need it to be right-handed or left-handed, right? Mm -mm. There you go. No, That's probably why. <laughs> but his uh, but the flipper, the mm. flipper to this, which what is it called? So this is a sharpshooter. What's the flipper one? The flipper version of this? I think that's. Is it the gunslinger jack? The gunslinger jack. Mm. So that is right-handed. Mm. And there's no left-hand variant of it. Yeah. See that. So it's right hand friendly. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so front flip. Oh, the the bolster lock that you have the to bolster, engage to put it away. 
Okay. Well, the clip too. The clip oh, right. is only oriented to that size. Oh, you can't so. change it. No. Ah, that makes sense. Just a small run, Ben. Small run for us lefties like yeah. yourself. <laughs> Help us out. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Gotta support. Gotta support. Yeah, dude. Ian says fun slinger. Yep. <laughs> fun slinger. <laughs> I've, uh, who said that to me? Somebody said that to me and was like, yo, check out the fun. Oh, no, it was Taylor. Taylor Martin. He like... Uh, I think like he made a video on the gunslinger jack on Instagram. Yeah. And then in the caption, he wrote the fun slinger jack. And I was like, hey, I'll buy five right now if that's the actual name of it. <laughs> <laughs> you should do it. The parody. You, yeah. yeah. You should do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. I'm not like, I don't make knives, but that would be funny. Yeah. The fun slinger jack. Maybe just a custom scales and just slap it on there, maybe. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. I got a fat package here. Um, I'm only going to do a teaser because uh, I have a feeling this is going to be featured more extensively uh, next Ooh. week on next week's live. Show us, show, show us. us. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me empty the bag and then let me see if I can pull some things out. Okay, here. I'll show this one. Boop. Oh, okay. So this is a toiletry bag actually so what? i think it comes out completely and then it's almost like an accordion style tech pouch but inside it'll have like compartments for you know all your all your toiletry needs how small is that compared to the um the bravo or the ghostling nano the ghostling nano it's about the same same footprint. okay it's slimmer though like this is as thin as it gets Oh, nice. So it's pretty thin, I, and it's designed to be sort of minimal when you pack it in your travel pack and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, next live is going to is gonna be a travel-themed live where we're talking about mm -hmm. things that we need uh, on, you know, the road, in flight, uh, traveling to get to where we need to get. And Alpacas sent a care package here for us to kind of go through. It's their travel series. Yeah. And, you know, we'll kind of use their bags as sort of like a, an experiment. How can we load uh, it did, out to suit our needs kind of thing? Did you get the elements? Um, yep. Travel bag. Yep. There it is. There this it is. is. The, fat, the fat guy. That's cool, man. Yeah. I got the original elements backpack. I gifted it to my brother-in-law. Nice. Um, I, I just kept having issues with the shoulder strap clip. It just kept coming undone. You're talking and about then they said, the sternum strap? No, not the sternum strap. That At the very bottom, the cinch. Oh, yeah, oh, mine, the plastic, and I and I gave feedback about it. I'm yeah. like, can you guys should probably put something on there where it's either metal or uh -huh. something that actually clamps onto the drawstring. Yeah, because mine kept coming undone. Oh, and they sent me another one, and the same thing happened for oh. that second one. And I was like, I think it's just the plastic you guys are using, you know. And I'm not loading it out super heavy. I don't oh, have a so it's 50 loosening on you yes oh yes. okay yeah i'll have and to so, check that out yeah see if that's same yeah. thing for you for sure for sure yeah i'll have to check that out i'll dive deeper into it and then of course we'll be all ready for the live next week but that's intense yeah yeah let's see uh ian says i love that it was taylor and i'm making the same joke yep the fun <laughs> yeah taylor's funny he's like he he can give off a serious persona but he's all he's all laughs and giggles man he's a great guy <laughs> yeah yeah he's <laughs> He has like that humor too, where it's it's kind of dry, but it's not. Mm. And then you're like, that was, that was freaking hilarious. Yeah, it's you know, it's definitely dry sometimes though. Like yeah, I, I spent it gets late thrown less in with mid conversation. Yeah. yeah, sometimes it's like, oh yeah, man, you're funny. And then other times I'm like, wait, were you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> has you thinking like, wait, is he serious or yeah. is that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise I would be a little insulted, but. Yeah. I just, yeah, I think he like, he definitely made it clear that he's just, he's all about the fun and games and the comedy. So he's a great yeah. dude. Spending a lot of time with him then. It was fun. Absolutely. But, all right. Let's get on to the main topic of tonight's cool. show. We're talking about the daddy day pack. You know, you got a little one coming in just yeah. a couple months, maybe even sooner, man. What's the, uh, what's the, the status on you guys nesting, getting ready for number two? How are you guys doing with that? Oh. I gotta bust this back out. Oh, there you go. 
So this is a tactical baby gear. Yeah. This is um this is a sling. Mm -hmm. And you know, spots for my reads and whatnot. But yeah. I got a changing mat in here that matches this. This was actually okay. gifted to me by my team at work. That's cool. Uh, for peace. And oh, yeah. you know, now I got that. Mm. So I'm gonna bust that back out. Uh, but for the most part, you know, everything everything's slowly coming along. Mm -hmm. Slowly coming along. And um obviously we got we got our work in and our experience in with our first one. Yep. So we're just ready for this to happen, you know? Agreed. It's like a month and a half, two months, so we're just ready. Yeah. Super ready. It's cool because <clears throat> with the experience of your first kid, you're gonna feel very liberated at times mm -hmm. because you're not like anxious or stressing about every little thing. Because with your first, you're like, everything's a first. So you oh, don't yeah. know how to react. You don't know how like, oh, is this, is this, is she sick? Do I need to go into the urgent care? It, like how sick is sick? Like how high of a fever is a high fever, right? So you got to think about all these things and you're tripping about it. But now, uh, for better or for worse, you're going to be like, ah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Like, you got you to gotta do the whole finger. No, are they breathing? Yeah. Uh, they're yeah. good. They're good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Now it's less. Now it's not like, uh, it's more like look over and see if they're like yeah. chest is coming up <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> yeah so that's cool though that's very cool and uh i can tell you guys are excited yeah man very excited i mean how are you with just having a second one like um, how's everything going for you it's going well he's very happy well, he's at he's almost, he's five months old so he's at the point where you know we're starting solids on him um he's very smiley and laughing you know he's been sick the last five couple months dude yeah That's bro like i felt like you just had him last week so fast <laughs> so fast what yeah. The heck? yeah he's five months old um pretty soon he's gonna be crawling i feel like he just learned how to like Dang. flip over so instead of yeah. sleeping on his back he's like you know on his belly now and not really used to mm -hmm. it so he's figuring that out but um yeah man it's not just an additional kid it's it's not like oh it's just the experience that you had with the first one just times two it's like times five because mm. you guys are no longer you know it's not two sets of eyes and hands on one kid anymore it's it's yeah. two and two but it's so much more than that <laughs> like, oh yeah yeah I, and i embrace it you know i embrace it I, I not not to get all freaking like sentimental or whatever it is but i feel like the love that i didn't get out as a kid mm -hmm. i i want to pour so much into my yeah. kids now you know and and yep. it's not like i wasn't loved when of i was course. a kid it's just i i didn't grow up in the perfect home and whatever it is yeah. but yeah. i want to make sure that they get all of that and more you yep. know mm -hmm. and wh whatever i can do to just provide and create that experience i'm all about that's awesome man i mean i feel yeah. like our generation like to some degree everyone has some sort of generational trauma whatever that yep. may be and families are already kind of tricky enough as it is. And then you yeah. throw in like, okay, I'm looking back at my childhood and I feel mm -hmm. certain things that were neglected or certain things that I didn't feel like I got enough of. And right. you know, you want to pour all that into your little ones, which is, which is great. You know? Yeah. 100% dude. They're mm -hmm. like, they're, they're so freaking lucky. Their generation is going to be crazy. It's wild. <laughs> I read something the other day that like, like our generation will be born with technology like yeah they're they're gonna be taught by ai and everything you yeah know? it's like freaking not scary flying cars it's already there <laughs> yeah basically have you seen those like human-sized drones that you can like sit yes. in there's like six propellers and it's just yes that's crazy insane dude yeah insane I try that <laughs> this is where we are this yeah. is where we are in life now exactly you know? <laughs> Oh, Trevor's in the house. EDC knife and tools. Sup, fellas? They grow up Trev. fast. Oh yeah. What's going on, man? For sure, dude. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. Eat Do they have any knives <laughs> yet? <laughs> Since <Rubira>? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, somebody asked if they have knives yet. Jack, Jack asked if if our kids have knives yet. Not yet. Not yet. But Not yet. My uh, eldest daughter. Uh, this happened like half a year ago, but she found one of my like Bally song trainers. And then saw mm -hmm. me flip it once and then she was like i want to try and she like grabs it and starts like messing yeah. around with it almost like a nunchuck more than more uh, than okay a butterfly knife but she was messing around with it it was fun yeah my daughter is super um she's she's tinkering with a lot of things okay nice so uh what's a company that i think they make those wood knives like oh. little trainer see i think crkt does yeah i, I think, think spider CRKT also made. makes a kit like a, Co. there you go it's like a native or something like that but it's a wooden one that you can yeah. take apart and show them how it works and stuff yeah maybe that'll be their first knife jack ah, jack there you go yeah there you go 
There you oh, go. dude, funny story about knives. Um, so uh, we bought my daughter sort of like a kitchen set and it's all plastic mm -hmm. and stuff, right? Like plastic knife and like, you know, so I was prepping for dinner and then she would, she wanted to help. Of course, that's, you know, she's like, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to help. Yeah. And so I set her up with her own workstation right next to mine. And then she gets on the stool and she's like, can I help cut? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then like turn away for a second. And she's like, oh. should I use this? And she she had, no. my, she had my kitchen knife. I was like, not that one, baby. You got this yeah. one. This one's yours. I was like, oh, yeah, that I mean, that's, that's it, a good reaction, though, because yeah. I I will take it a little above and beyond and go, no, like or I'll say something and that that startles them, you know? Yeah. So they'll, imagine ooh. like. Yeah. And my wife catches me doing that a lot. And she's mm -hmm. like, don't do like, talk to them normal. And just mm -hmm. you, you scare them and you make them yeah. jump or Jittery. anything, you know? And yeah. Yes. You don't want to scar them like that. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Yeah. See, that's tough though. Cause like you always want to keep a level head and be calm when you're fathering and mm -hmm. stuff. But sometimes like you, you feel those emotions too, right? You're like yes. super pissed or super scared or something like that. Just, and you just don't kicks want in. that to, kicks yeah. In. It's hard to control. You gotta learn it. You gotta learn yeah. it. Yeah. 100%. But all right, let's get into the daddy day pack. What is, you're already showing your bag. So what are some essentials? You don't have to, it doesn't have to be an exhaustive list, but what are some essentials you feel you need to have with you uh, in your daddy day pack loadout? Yeah. So snacks, number one. Mm -hmm. Snacks have to be there for my kid and for myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nonstop. Like I'll give yeah, my girl nonstop. some like fruit snacks. And then as soon as she's done with that last bite, she goes, Daddy, can I have some blackberries? Yeah. And then it's just it's just a revolving list. They just keep wanting more and more and more. Exactly. So snacks for sure, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, creams mm -hmm. uh, for changing their diapers, mm -hmm. eczema, what have you. Yeah. Because um, kids get that quite often, uh, especially if you know mine, because I got it. Mm -hmm. And dude, my uh, younger son he has a little bit of eczema. Yeah. Like small breakouts here and there, but. Um, my older doesn't have it. I don't have it, but then he started to develop a little bit. So we're staying yeah. on top of that. In the heat too, man. It's oh, like, yeah. it just amplifies it. So that's true. Gotta have that there. Gotta have a bunch of diapers, yep. the wipes as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. um, that's typically what's gonna live and stay in the baby pack. Yeah. Um, you know, what's funny though, is that right now, other than that bag that I showed you. So yep. even with my first one, we didn't really use that much after mm three, four months because right. we scaled it down to stuff that you really need. Mm -hmm. Like EDC, right? You scale your carry down to what you will really need on a day-to-day -day basis. Yep. And my wife and I have found that, you know, you we don't need all the, the extra stuff that's in there, yeah. especially if you have strollers, if you have other mm -hmm. stuff like that, you can just use those pockets to kind of carry whatever yeah. it is, their bottles and stuff like that. Yeah. So there isn't much, you know, that we're going to go crazy about when it comes to the daddy day pack carry yeah, for sure um i mean my lady she has that... a bag too and she always yeah. keeps things just by default in her bag yeah. she's converted her purse into like a like a one of those cute backpacks that unfolds into you know a toiletry bag too yep. so yep she's got a lot of gear i only ever use the day pack if like i'm going out with them by myself and like mm -hmm. i need to have the whole get up with me which has only yeah. been a handful of times because we're always hanging out together as a family anyway. So yeah. this is fun and it's a great study into like what are some essentials, but right. it's not like 100% of the time. Absolutely, yeah. And if I'm being completely honest, if I put together all the baby stuff anyway, like if mm -hmm. we're traveling or we go somewhere, mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna forget something. Dude. <laughs> like I'm not in charge of that. It's yeah. like, just make sure you get this, this. I have a list of things that she'll run down for me. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have to be in charge of. Because yeah. I know she'll take care of everything. You yeah. Know? So it's more like and the daddy satellite module. Because yeah. mommy has everything down pat. <laughs> exactly. Where yeah. I get in trouble is, did you get this stuff? And I'm in my drawer trying to put my... <laughs> Dude, like, I've done that. We're there, like, there we're you getting go, ready to go shit. out. Yeah. And our ladies are like, okay, we got the food, we got the milk, we got the snacks, we got the spare clothes. I'm over here like, should I wear this watch? <laughs> or, or should I wear this watch? <laughs> like, it's too real, man. Slip joint or folder yeah. today? <laughs> yes. And then we get to the car. She's like, Where, where's the baby shoes? Oh, oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got all of your EDC <laughs> stuff ready. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. See, I've done that enough times to where I'm like, okay, I'm going to prepare my stuff ahead of time on yes. my own time. 
That's and then it. when it's ready That's to it. go, when we're we're getting ready to roll out, I already yeah. have my sling on me. My pockets are full. Okay, what do you need, baby? What do you need? What do you need me to get? What do you need me to bring out? The stroller, make the stores in the car. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. So that's definitely separate from. I got to plan way in advance for that because, yeah. you know, you want to curate your carries too, and uh, and it's like, oh shit, just not when it comes down to time. it. Yeah, but that's why a carry all for me, mm -hmm. at least you know, as a dad, <clears throat> is super essential. Like mm -hmm. I've used mm -hmm. this exact setup over the last. I mean, ever since I got it, ever since I got yeah. this mm -hmm. in the mail. And you've had other carry-alls in the past too, you know? So you're mm -hmm. used to loading it out and grabbing that and going for a yeah. long time. Cause your essentials, like uh, I, I'm, I use this reference rock pebble sand. So like, what are my rocks? And that's my phone, my keys, my wallet, mm -hmm. right? Those are things I must have on mm -hmm. my person. And then the pebbles are my EDC, right? Your carry-all. Mm -hmm your tools mm. and then your sand is like a sling because do i really need to wear a sling every single day mm. like, no not really but i am already taking that much real estate in my pockets with my phone my wallet and my keys mm. so why occupy more especially if i know i'm going to be on the go going to doctor's appointments grocery shopping whatever it is i need to have something easy for me to just grab so i even thought about maybe putting a bunch of my leather carry-alls and already curating carries to put mm. in them mm. so that way i can just open my my tool cabinet and just grab you know a carry-all yep and i'll be set because it's already set up for everything i need and you know i, I think i'm just gonna start doing that that's good and it's funny you mentioned you're like oh my sand is like a sling because who needs to wear a sling every day but i'm yeah. using my sling as uh the same way you use your carry-all like i use that okay. as my one thing and i load yeah. it up and i put it on the coat rack right by the door so mm -hmm. when it's time for for us to go i grab that strap it on and i'm good right there you go so there you, go. you know all i need to do is put my smartphone in there because usually i have my phone on me and yeah this is a done deal and it takes the thinking out of it you know like you know that anecdote you had about okay what watch do i wear what knife do i wear i don't right. want to spend like 15 minutes thinking about that every time so yeah and you don't have time yeah i mean kudos to the to the parents and the dads that have that time mm -hmm. but in in moments where you're just go 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 it, you know that's not a priority in, in that yeah. instance so mm -hmm. for sure and especially if yeah. there's other like fires to put out like if your yeah. baby's fussing or, oh, you yeah. know, you, you know, one's awake, one's asleep. You need to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. So you need to prioritize, you know, managing your kids and stuff like that, especially with two. Yeah. There's no time for that. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I had an offshoot question uh, yeah. for your daddy day pack. Does it change when you travel as a family, like either by plane or you're going on a trip? Is there anything significant that you bring with you that's different? <clears throat> um. So my similar to your lady's bag my wife has one where it just turns into a changing station mm. and it's a backpack mm -mm. but that's our primary travel bag okay. that we have and that has everything that's where we go a little above and beyond okay. with things that we probably don't need yeah because it just loads everything out but when you're but, traveling do you'd rather have it and not need it than the reverse exactly exactly so that is something that my wife already has curated yeah. i don't have to worry about that i just know when when in like when we're going on a trip when to grab that bag because mm -hmm. i know it's going to be filled up yeah and then it turns into a changing mat which is pretty cool because you just open up the zipper and just slides out oh yeah just change like your folds baby out. there mm -hmm. exactly yeah. so some changing stations are changes. nasty <laughs> <laughs> my gosh it's like how you know yeah it right. should be the same etiquette when you clean the freaking toilets to clean this changing station yeah. that you put oh. fragile babies on and it's yeah. like oh hell no yeah, so yeah. sometimes i'll just lay down the stroller and i'm like i'm gonna figure it out here you know yeah, put a blanket over right? it and let me just get to work sometimes you gotta just do that and it's good that yeah. your backpack folds out into sort of a mobile changing mat so you don't have to worry right? about that Oof. absolutely nice absolutely dude one thing that maybe i got scarred with but like the most recent time traveling and i don't go anywhere any i don't do any traveling without this with my kids is meds because mm. like you know it, we've just gotten messed up too much recently i went to portland for a weekend just to kind of hang out and and do yeah. sort of a family trip and then we ended up catching a bug got sick and oh, no. um so that time you know we brought the thermometer the allergy medicine the the baby tylenol and a syringe yeah. to like kind of squeeze it in their mouth right but 
uh, the time before that, we were not prepared. We didn't bring the meds. And so, uh, you know, of course, caught something. And we had to go kind of scrounge for it. And yeah. during that time, it was still kind of like kind of on, kind of off for COVID. And so we went into a CVS. Shelves were empty. Like, mm -hmm. we had to go to like two CVSs to find a spot that had it. Damn. And when you're traveling, you know, we didn't have a car. And so yeah. we had to like walk it, figure it out. And go in there and just hope that they had it in stock it was it was a little rough dang so, yeah so the first aid kits the medicine we, we yes. bring all that stuff now <laughs> it sucks that we had to learn it this way but uh yeah that's what we're doing yeah so that will live in here because ah, there you go i gotta be prepared with that as well and then that's velcro so i can just put it there yeah or put it on the bottom if i want um but it also is pretty modular with other backpacks that i have that mm. have the hook and loop that's good and then um, i just saw my wife she said i i have a for a mini first aid kit in all the little bags that we have that mm -hmm. we carry out too so it's just part of it for sure um hey v's you know, in the chat mikey has packed mini first aid kits in our baby bag too which is awesome for these playful yeah. toddlers that's good yeah because you never know what they're gonna get into and then like you know, they might accidentally fall or scrape something yes. or bruise something, and you got to treat that, you know, before See, it gets infected and all that. This is why she has to be in the chat. So she also brought up a, a life vac. You ever mm -hmm. heard of that? Yeah, it's the it's the thing that gets the food it's, out of their throat and like choke. It like suctions, mm -hmm. and then, but it's not just for kids. Like, it works for adults. Oh, no way. You just got to change a mouthpiece on okay, it. Okay, for sure. So we have one in the car, we got one in the house, and then we pack one in a bag. Oh. It's not cheap, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's life-saving. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. like in that same vein, like uh, we want to do like CPR classes as well to kind of yeah, make so sure we, that we have at least those skills. Certified, bro. Certified. You choking? I got you. <laughs> there you I go. For you, sure. Man. That's yeah. sure. I mean, if, if that's the only way I'm going to get you, you know, mouth to mouth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> There's other ways where I don't have to resort to that. <laughs> but if I do, uh, I, I have this uh, CPR uh, little um, handy keychain clip. Uh-huh. And it has a mouth cover. Okay. And it just has a hole. So, oh. you know, I mean, tech, it's lip to lips, but you know, I got a plastic there, so right. I got to, you know. Okay. So at least there's some there's some practical there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So when when my first was born, my wife and I made it. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we we got CPR certified. So pediatrics okay. and um, you know adults like us yeah. were were CPR certified. Oh, that's good. For yeah. sure, for sure. I mean, necessary that just skills. goes along. And yeah, that just rise to the occasion when you have kids, right? Change your your skill set and your loadouts based mm -hmm. on your evolving sort of roles as a Absolutely. person. Absolutely, yeah. That's sick, 100%. man. That's sick, man. Hey, Pocket Filth, am I reading this correctly? You have a you have your child's name is Saber. Yes, dude. That's Saber's sick. Good. Yeah, man. And we're actually gonna be uh, hanging out on the fifth. Okay. We're gonna be watching Blippy together. Okay. Nice. So I'm gonna take my little one. He's gonna take his little one. Aww. We're gonna go watch the Blippy show. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. Are you talking yeah, about like live, or you guys are actually meeting up? No, live. They have a tour that they're doing. Oh no so way! We're gonna bring our kids to Aww. the Blippy show. That's gonna be fun. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> v says, "Ooh, Ron, trying to take my man's now. I've been trying to take your man's for a while now." V, I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> jeez. Yeah. See, he tried to lean in with the CPR yeah, thing. You know, He's like, yeah, maybe, you know. Hey, Mikey, are you free to give me some pointers? You know, like I'm struggling with the technique a little bit. Maybe you could. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> it's all love. You That's know, it's all funny. Love. That's funny. Yeah, man. That's cool. Jack man. Jack says, make a video about it. Blippy, make make a video about the Blippy. Yeah, we'll probably have. I'm, I'm for sure gonna have a pocket check. I actually don't with, know what Blippy is. No, no. Oh man. So right now, uh, Blippy, he does like he visits a lot of different uh, museums, um, okay. parks, and he just goes over a lot of educational things like sensory stuff that he just shows. Oh, okay. And uh, that's one of them. But my daughter likes Mika also. She's she's the girl version of Blippy. So the tour is going to be both of them. It's going to be Blippy and Mika. So is it like um, a it's like a TV show or sort of a YouTube? You, YouTube. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Like Miss Rachel and all that. Bro, man, when I log on to YouTube, I got to <laughs> scroll to look for the EDC stuff because yeah. it's flooded with Blippy and Mika shit, dude. Dude, yes. I'm like, like damn my it. TV it's the first yes. like six rows is like gabby gabby's yeah, dollhouse yeah. it's blues clues like <laughs> i gotta keep going to be like okay i actually want to watch this now <laughs> yes yes yeah so blues clues she's she's slowly 
Well, she's watching Blue's Clues now, and then a little bit of this thing called Bebe Finn. Oh, um, Bebe Finn, yep. The red hair, yeah. or the pink haired uh, kid. Yes. Yep. And then uh, Miss Rachel was what we started her off with. Mm -hmm. Same. And uh, yeah, everything. Like, she knows from beginning to finish. Uh, she's not fully talking yet, like yeah. sentences, but she'll catch every mm. single part of the song that she's singing. So you're driving, and she's like, singing in the back you're like what the hell dude she knows when it's coming you know it's, dude gosh. they are smart and they catch on way more quickly than you think yeah so you gotta I, be careful like even if you're in the other room saying things like they know and one day yes. it's gonna come up in the most yeah. inopportune time no 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 don't no no <laughs> yeah. no don't say yeah. that <laughs> right right only mommy and daddy say that <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude we yeah, tried dad. to uh we tried to get our daughter to not say whatever because whatever is like, you know, it, you could use it in a certain way, but then like it's attitude -y, right? So we're like, oh, we don't say whatever. So whenever my, my lady and I talk and we're like, oh, uh, whatever you want, you know, whatever you want to eat tonight. She goes, we don't say whatever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're right. You're right. We don't. And yeah. so I got to change it up. <laughs> yeah. You got to find a new filler word, dude, yeah. to oh. try to change whatever. Yeah. I guess it's for the yeah. best. <laughs> Or just oh. start texting each other. <laughs> I know. No, but then it's too much screen time. Then it's too much. Oh, there uh, it is. You're modeling the smartphone behavior. Exactly. Exactly. Dude, parenting's hard, man. To do it, it is, man. Like, in a way that you're you're happy with, right? Like yeah. with all that generational trauma and like, okay, I don't want my kid to be doing this. So, but we do a yeah. lot of that <laughs> as adults. Yo, and you go through the experience. Like you have to go through it. And we, my wife and I, have always been like, yeah, we're not gonna put our baby in front of a screen or anything like mm. that until they start freaking acting up and you're mm. like yeah. ipad yeah. and then right. it stops and it's like oh thank you <laughs> yeah i think i mentioned this before but like i have a newfound sort of like lack of judgment and and sort of respect for uh parents that that i saw doing that as yeah. i was not a parent because like you know they always say you shouldn't be doing screen time for the kids and so you know when you're going out and you're not a parent you see a kid, a parent that is doing that, just like plugging their kid in front of the screen. Mm -hmm. You're like, Oof, what kind of parenting is that? But yeah. now that I'm a parent, severely humbled because there are just times when your cup is like, you're full, you're, you cannot handle yes. anymore. And yes. the kid decides right then, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to shit on my parents today. <laughs> so yes. Oh my gosh. And have like a whole, like imagine tr just traveling to road trips. And your soundtrack is just baby crying and yelling. Mm -hmm. Hell no. It's you hard. know, like throw on Blippy. <laughs> throw on Blippy. <laughs> that, that'll yeah. stop it. You know? Yep. So. I feel it, man. <laughs> I think that's the most triggering thing for me, like volume. Like, yes. I can handle a lot of other things, but when there's like a shrieking baby this mm -hmm. close to my ear, it's like severely jarring for me. Yeah. Yeah. The whole, uh, just have him cry it out. Yeah. Have him cry it out. And then, <laughs> like, do a six hour trip to Utah for Blade West and then have try to have him cry it out. Oh, my baby yeah. cried for two hours straight. Oh I said, my gosh. Didn't know you, you had serious? those sets of pipes on you. <laughs> Damn. I said, are you serious? Yeah. When, when is just crying out? You let him cry it out. Two hours, bro. Two hours nonstop. Just ah! took a stop, got some gas, got yeah. back on the road. Yeah. Ah! Uh, like, oh that's tough God. road trips are tough for kids because they're just strapped in the whole time yeah you know? they're uncomfortable you got to take breaks because they can't be strapped in for that long yeah. and it, it's like it's tough yeah for sure man. yeah for sure. well man what else you got coming up for your channel for your platform uh man i just all these videos i just thank everybody for their patience i yep. apologize for not being able to go live um, I'm brewing up a lot of videos. I just need the time to edit and record them. Yeah. Um, I got one more thing I just want to show here real quick. Yeah. But, uh, hey. <laughs> oh man, I just done fell down a rabbit is hole. It, but this, this is, is something I traded for. In Kosi? This is a small Sabenza. Oh, there it small is. Small bog and a, a lefty variant right okay. so oh damn oh, look at that jeez that's sleek yes man. is that a, like yeah. a wooden inlay yeah oh my it goodness is. it's the yep small sabenza 31 inlay uh left hand that's awesome. it's a bog bog oak is what bog it is oak. 
That's it, man. Uh, You're done. You can only get CRKs going going forward, man. You know, I've acquired a taste. <laughs> yeah. And uh <laughs> and it's uh it's That's an addictive one. That's one thing to call one. it. <laughs> yeah. So, a good, good thing is though I'm just trading knives that okay. I have already. Yeah. That's true. And and that's cool cuz I would never just go and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars as I can't. Yeah. But if they want to trade for knives that we get to yeah. do reviews on that yeah. we're not using, why yeah. not? You know? Absolutely. And it's it's Get I've thought about it like this, like and this goes for selling as well. You're giving the knife the home that it it's destined for you know what i mean because like yeah. we get knives and and by extension gear right that we don't always mm -hmm. use we don't use yep. nearly any majority of the gear that we get so yeah, to be able to relocate that either by selling it or trading it for something we want to check out i think yeah. it's good for both parties right 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 i mean we go through the agreement of creating content anyway for this so in a sense we we do give something for it yeah but at the end of the day like you had stated it kind of just sits and collects dust and maybe yeah. something that others are wanting mm -hmm. i mean why would i just keep hoarding it you know and right and i just want to so limit all my all oh, right yeah i just want to limit all the stuff to what it is like i have one husky tool cabinet i'm just gonna keep it to that yeah and that's it that's why so, smart. i have yeah. a i have a case here like a pelican and i think i'm i'm gonna try to keep it within that like yeah. i if i get a husky workbench that's just gonna open up that many more spaces for me to oh, like do things with. so i'm gonna i'm gonna hold off on that but yeah. you know i got bags too like backpacks and slings and stuff that i need to kind of purge oh and, yeah 100 yeah. percent. and i used to like i used to say i'm gonna keep everything to make content on but mm -hmm. you know you only make so much content on it and yeah there's no point after a certain point <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly awesome man well man i wanted to thank you for coming on and having this chat with me it's always good to chop it up with another creator let alone someone's yeah, about man. to have their second kid great topic yes, for today yes yes awesome thank you man. for having me thank absolutely you for having me. that's and for... also another reason why i want to bang out all this content because when it comes ba second baby time Ooh. i don't know if there's going to be time you know so i mean I, wanna... I can tell you right now like i when i had my second kid like i went through that for a little bit yeah. it was right around holiday time too when content is like at its peak and i couldn't yes. capitalize because i was drowning in like sleep deprivation <laughs> yeah so for sure well take advantage dude um for the literally one person in chat who doesn't know about you where can we find you uh mikey daily carry probably everywhere youtube <laughs> instagram <laughs> awesome, discord man. facebook um stay tuned for that drop that i have with mike cruz and everyday adventure co if you guys want in on that um join the facebook if you don't have a link to that already hit me up on instagram for that link i'll be happy to give that to you and uh yeah man i'm gonna have you on a live stream sometime soon before i can't go on live streams for quite a bit hey man no pressure though dude you know i'm here for you i would love to show up and hang out um if you can't swing it because you gotta edit a bunch of videos i totally understand too the, yeah. the clock is ticking for you and yeah. you know when baby comes that's all hands on deck yeah man yeah so awesome dude I I appreciate you, man. You hey, likewise. Thank you so much. Thank you for the great stream. And for those of you who joined us in the chat today, thank you for spending your Wednesday evening here with myself, with Mikey Daily Carry on this Live With Purpose live stream. We'll catch y'all next week, travel edition. And uh, we'll see y'all real soon. Take care. Yeah. Quack